here's this is the pipe here. This is a 0.188 wall carbacil pipe. Uh, I cut it with a plasma cutter and I cut them all straight because it's very thin pipe anyways. There's no point in cutting with a bevel, you know, because it's going to get... When I show you what I'm going to do here, it's just going to be... That's why I'm going to cut straight lines. So I'm just using the... I'm going to take with the hammer, just remove the... the, uh, the, the from the, uh, the plasma cutter. stuff like this, you know, on the inside of the pipe is from the plasma cutter. So I'm just going to put on the, uh, the welding positioner. This is an LJ 8 inch bench top welding positioner, about uh, $4,800, very close to $5,000. Um, but I use this thing all the time. It weighs about 150 pounds. So I'm going to slide in the back, back seat of my truck. That's what I'm doing. What I like to do is I like to just wrap it at an angle here, get this all nice and square. These are Cubitron discs. You get these from Century Valin. They say Cubitron on them. They're a 982C 3M. You see the backing plate here, you don't, don't buy the backing plate. This is a Walter disc. This is a regular grinding disc. 532 or 1 8 is what you want to do. So buy a grinding disc, put the 1 8 to 532 disc on there, and then put the Cubitron disc on there. So this is going to square the pipe. So basically, you now I can actually grind it a little bit, which I will in a second here. But basically, I want this nice and square. It's going to make it really square. So I'm going to grind it just a little bit, a little speck here, a little less than 16, so I'm going to fix that up right here. So now we've got the nice, nice all, it's all nice and square, so when I put a, the one pipe up against here and the other pipe up, they're going to be no daylight, it's going to be even gap, even landing, etc. This is the 160 plan, this is the factory's edge, this is the end of the pipe that cut off the plasma. So basically I have a control for the 116 pound here, I'm just going to go over the file. This is the one direction here. This is one direction, you want to go like this because you know, it's not, the file's not supposed to go in both ways, it's one, one direction. So I'm going to put an even land on here. So it's going to be even 16. And when you're uh, practicing and everything, uh, get these, uh, this is the 116 TIG wire, this is what I use all the time. You can use any of everything, just, just check that makes you have a good land on there. But you gotta do this very quickly because you're gonna get fired if you're slow. Or if somebody doesn't like you, you get fired. Or well, I got many reasons why I get fired too. <laughs> but basically, uh, we're gonna do this very, very quickly. Okay, so I got my sick 116 land on there, it's all nice land, everything I want to make it uh, when you go over the grinder, the grinder makes it a little square. So we'll go over it like this, now it's going to round all your bevels there. Okay, now it's all, uh, it's all nice 116 uh, uh, land. I got a nice, nice uh, double on here. So basically, it's going to look like that. It's all very uniform. I want to put the other pipe up against it, it's going to be a nice 116 land, 116 gap. But uh, it's going to be a little less than 116. It's not here. Now this is 116 TIG wire, but uh, I use a different thing for this. It's going to end up with less than 116. I'm going to show you over here. Now I don't know what these things are, a friend of mine, he gave this to me. It's uh, he said he bought it at Wona. I don't know what it is, it must be for uh, or something. It's a little bit less than a sixteenth, but it's perfect for this because this pipe is, uh, you know, 0.188 wall thickness, so I have thinner pipe, a month thinner pipe. 
which is actually clean the inside of the pipe here. Don't forget to clean the inside of the pipe. I'm doing a die grinder, and uh, you see, uh, you know, all this this cutting broth and all this, uh, the you know, the mill scale and everything else inside the pipe here is just gonna it's just gonna come into your well puddle. Uh, you clean the file, you clean the die grinder. Die grinder is a little quicker.
Eric, make sure you taper off so you don't uh, pull the air kind of the kennel at the bottom. Okay, take a look. Okay,
half pass. Uh, so I just did this side, so I'm going to go back to over here, and we're going to go back over here. Now basically I can kind of cheat and run this 532 at the very same uh, current as the uh, smaller electrodes I did the root and hot pass with. But uh, you know, I just give a little bit of arc crank. So I'll put up 10 a little more liquid. bottom of the pipe. Let's see if I can zoom in here. There we go. That's the bottom of the pipe. I'm gonna go up the one side here. Now the wall thickness of this pipe is 0 0.188 and it's a 4 inch. So it's a root it's a hot pass and a cap pass. That's the bottom again. We can go around again. So it's a lot more convenient using this on a welding position or just to, to show the root pass and the cap pass rather than is to have the pipe in position and try and go around it with the, uh, the camera. I can zoom right in, I can get really clear, I can get the light on there very well.
back at the bottom. So this is how thin the pipe is. And this is the, the height of the cat pass. I'm going to go fast around here. This is the height of the cat pass. This is the root pass. See if I can right there. There's not a whole lot of build up. Oops. Being caught there. This is melon build up right there. The root was done with one eighth. The fill the uh, fill pass or the hot pass was done with one eighth, and the cat pass was done with five thirty two. That's the bottom of the pipe.